So much sin, so much corruption, so much pollution, so much rebellion. God says there's nothing I can do to help you now. For decade after decade after decade, we have seen our country slip away from God and into more and more sin and rebellion to the Almighty. Things that are openly promoted today and done in the public eye were once considered taboo and an abomination and only dared to be done in secret if even then. At one point, people were ashamed of their sins and once convicted of it, they would crowd around the altar in repentance, seeking God's forgiveness with tears streaming from their eyes with a true fear of the Lord upon their hearts. But today, people either try to hide their sin or they flaunt their sin with no remorse, no shame, and no regret. Power and fame and wealth of the gods of America. Pride is our faith. Vanity, our strength. All the while, Christ is being pushed out of every place He can be. Out of the schools, out of the governments, out of council meetings, out of sports, out of courts, out of many households, out of the public eye, and even out of some churches. Christians once respected are now mocked and told to be silent, while other faiths that promote violence and killing of innocents are welcomed and praised. Terrorists was walking the White House floors these few weeks past, openly received in our capital. But we can't even pray our own school. Like Israel, many of our leaders, both political and religious, are corrupt and care not for the people they rule. They only care about their own agendas. They are so corrupt that even the house of God has been polluted with corrupt doctrine, with a pick and choose your own kind of religion, with corrupted forms of God's word, with worldly forms of worship instead of true conviction, repentance, and praise. Liberalism and social issues and ear tickling have been replaced, have replaced true Bible preaching evangelism with us. And the idea that we all worship the same God has been implanted in many people's minds as incompatible faiths try to unite in some form of ungodly union. Idolatry has taken on a new form in America. People don't bow down to rocks and twigs carved in some dead God's image and worship them in some high-placed grove like Israel done. But instead we fall at the feet of movie and rock stars. Cheer on our ungodly athletes. Cheer, cheer, them, cheer all them on as we crowd and prostrate ourselves around the television.
birth nation, a nation blessed by and guided by God Almighty and having impossible victory after impossible victory given to them over their enemies, after all of those things, after miraculously being sustained and prospered over the years, after becoming one of the wealthiest and most influential kingdoms on the planet, because of sin, God dispersed this nation, virtually destroyed it where it basically disappeared as a recognized independent country for centuries. Bombastic Mussolini, the sawdust Caesar, comes to his end in the gutter, fitting climax to a life of treachery and double cross. Well, for one thing, avoid the comfortable idea that the mere form of government can of itself safeguard a nation against despotism. A community is low on a respect scale if common courtesy is withheld from large groups of people on account of their political attitudes. One nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. he died as tyrant should and was hung up by his heels, a fitting and glorious end.